Hey guys, welcome to another F1 2021 career mode video here on the Chesnoy Place channel. It's round 9 of season 3. It's the British Grand Prix. Historically, not that good because AI drivers are very, very strong through the second sector. But with a maxed out car, I hope we can compete at least for some decent points and maybe try something on strategy with good tyre wear. Weather forecast... Overcast to dry for both the main events, qualifying and the race. So fully dry in both sessions, you would imagine. Uh, our previous results at Silverstone have been a 14th in Season 1, although that was basically a 19th with some very, very lucky late safety car induced weather or weather induced safety car. And then 13th last year, which was on pace. We hope, though... This year, on the back of two podiums in the last three races and points in every single Grand Prix, we hope to get points again at the very least here at uh, Silverstone. George obviously DNF'd from the lead, might I add, in the last Grand Prix, which was devastating. And as such, the Constructors' Championship is tighter than it maybe should be. We're top, though, still. Sixth in the driver's standings, although only two points behind Lando. Six points behind Max and 12 points behind George. Lewis, though, leading the way by a margin at the minute. From Charles Leclerc, actually, who's been very, very solid so far this year. A win in Bahrain, two second places in Monaco and Canada, and a third place in Austria and a fourth in France. Only, really, Portugal and Spain, where that Ferrari hasn't quite had the pace. Today in Great Britain, it's going to be a tough one, I think. But with a home Grand Prix for me, a home Grand Prix for George and a home Grand Prix for the team. We're desperate to try and pull something out of the bag. Thank you, G-Man, for the second month, mate. Appreciate the support. And we'll jump into practice on stream and try and get as many resource points as we can to finish off all of the upgrades we want to do with regards to the durability department. But for now, on the YouTube video, I will see you post-practice where we'll find out how many resource points we've gained for the durability upgrades. We're flying, lads, in seventh. I just want to compare my sector times to everyone else before the end of the session. So, sector one, I am three tenths faster than my teammate. Sector two, I am actually only two tenths slower. And sector three, six tenths. Ooh, so my sector three is actually my worst bit at the moment. Compared to Lewis, though, sector one, only a tenth. Sector two, seven and a half tenths off. Sector 2. That's the maggots. Cops, maggots and beckets, basically. Seven tenths in Sector 2. And then in the third sector, my third sector is just slow in general, I think. But my second sector is decent. It's just obviously not quick enough for the AI at Silverstone. So we will probably it's time struggle to, to finish much higher than Hamilton. sixth or seventh, I think, in the race. Depending on what we could do strategy-wise. Depending on what happens incident wise but we will absolutely try our best to get as as far up the grid as we possibly can in qualifying and then as far up the classification standings as possible in the race itself george getting us a good haul of resource points as well now up to almost four thousand, which is brilliant right then time for qualifying and then from there we can put together some sort of race strategy 124.1, okay, yeah. So getting out of Q2, getting out of Q2 might be slightly troublesome, but getting out of Q1 is not a problem. In fact, it's better than my, <laughs> it was better than my lap in, uh, better than my lap in Q1 by about three tenths. 23.8 there. It's not a bad lap, actually. Uh, I'm tempted to go out on softs next and then maybe try mediums at the end of the session. Like, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go out on this set of softs and then we'll go out on a set of mediums right at the very end and pray that maybe we can make it through to Q3. I'm not going to go faster on the mediums, unfortunately, but we are currently P10 on the, with that soft run. Whether we'll stay P10 between now and the end of the session, I'm not sure. Someone might just pip us. Or we might have snuck through to Q3. We have snuck through to Q... I say snuck, 
Actually, it's not that bad at all. We were uh, three tenths to the good from those behind. Checo is rapid around here. And Lewis with a 122.3. Whoa! George did a 22.9 on mediums. Holy balls! That's fast. Into Q3, though, for the first time in a little while. Obviously, AI are strong around Silverstone. That's track specific. In general, in qualifying, the AI are just really strong. And a lot of people lower their difficulty by a couple of notches for quality and practice and then up it back for the race. We don't do that. Probably at my own uh, expense. But that's the way that we do things at the moment. Right. We'll go out and do a lap on the soft set. Actually, let's go and do a lap on that Super 1 set as a banker. Then we'll go out and do a lap on the soft set. And nearly a full second quicker, but it's still P10. Still P10 in Q3. We are so strong around this bloody circuit. It's ridiculous. So strong. And with qualifying Try my complete, best. 23.5 is what we put today. in. Verstappen, George did a 22.5. They're into the 121s. 121s. Jesus. I'm surprised they haven't patched the strength of the AI at Silverstone so far. The game's been out a few months. Although we, to be fair, we've only had one performance patch, haven't we? But it, cer it certainly needs a tweak. Was it just not your day? Uh, today was George's day. Your qualifying pace didn't put you at the front of the grid. We'll be fine. Great. Well, that's everything. No worries, Claire. Checo's just hammering me in quality, but we're beating him in races, which is probably the most important. I oh, know a twenty-one-eight from Max is just disgusting, isn't it? Thank you for the follow, kids, and her CGG. Tough uh, luck there. It's oh, not thanks, quite Jeff. where we'd want to be on the grid, but chin up. So because we made it through to Q3, we will be starting the race on the set of tyres that we completed our fastest lap in Q2 on. I am going to be able to do both MGUK failure analysis and MGUH failure analysis here. And then we're only needing 1,800 resource points or 1,700 resource points. And then we will be fully... Fuck it. Oh, no, we won't be fully done because there's still a couple, a couple of other locked ones. But we're very nearly fully done. Right. To the Grand Prix! Let's see what... Uh, if anyone's taken any Before grid begin, penalties. Let's take a quick look at the someone, some, of the some of the drivers race, may have taken Lewis fresh Hamilton components for this race. And George is taking... No, he's not. No, he's not. Verstappen is taking a penalty. Verstappen was on pole. Ricardo, Ricardo and Norris, Norris third and fourth. George Russell, Russell fifth, Sainz sixth. sixth. I'm up to 7th from 10th. There's Verstappen a number of other drivers take Esteban penalties. Otto. Verstappen with a penalty. Schwartzman with a penalty. Charles Leclerc with a penalty too. Down in 17th for Charles Leclerc. That's good news for us. Starting P7 gives us a good opportunity to start well. Okay, it is going to be a one-stop. Like it's going to be a one-stop. The two stops just not as quick. And they reckon we should pit... Ah, because of tyre wear, I may well find myself needing to do a two-stop. But if we do do a two-stop, we'll go soft, medium, soft. So we'll try a one-stop, see how we get on. But I might be forced into a two-stop due to tyre wear. We shall just have to wait and see. Right, strategy-wise, starting P7, but some faster, some faster cars behind us. I will say, will we finish P7? Six or higher. P6 or higher. Give you guys a couple of minutes to do that whilst I go for a quick toilet break. And then it's British Grand Prix time. Five lights. And we're off. George with a poor start. Sights has flown off the mark. My lot's got me up the inside. Oh my god. Wheels locking up everywhere. I think I've got Callum Eilock back again. I think he's just alongside me. We have been able to take Callum Eilock back again. Norris and Russell going toe for toe. Russell on the medium tyres. So he's probably going to be a little bit slower to start off with. 
going to help us now, but help him later when he goes on to the softs. I imagine that he's one-stopping. I imagine everybody's one-stopping, really. I'm going to have to use a lot of my battery to keep up with everyone in this Grand Prix. Let's remember that we're carrying a full fuel load. I can't just nail it through some of the high-speed turns and expect the car to grip. Hopefully, if we get overtaken by Verstappen, oh, free phrase, when we get overtaken by Verstappen, I'll try and, oh God, wide, wide, wide. I'll try and stick with him as best I can. Is being this I'm not going to be within DRS a second of Verstappen now either. Of the car oh, ahead, no. and in this the is DRS rough, zone. man. They're so fast at Silverstone. How can we win races? I can win races at Canada. I can win races at Mexico. I can challenge for the lead and very nearly win in Austria. But at Silverstone, two seconds off the pace, mate. And they're on mediums, fam. Mediums. It needs a patch. It really needs a patch. Try to stay with him. He might make a mistake. I'll try, Just Jeff. But easier said than fucking done here, mate. At the moment, the car behind us is lapping faster than us by around. Per yes, Jeff, I know. Fuck you. Like, I'm taking all of that from here onwards. I'm pretty much flat the entire time. But the gap goes from 0 0.9 seconds. I've got him using my battery as well. I have to slightly lift there. And by the time we get to this left-hander, 1.3 seconds. 1.3 seconds! Telling me a slight lift in that one corner loses me three tenths. Now it's 1.6, 1.7. They just get Silverstone wrong and it happens every year. They just get the pace of the AI at Silverstone wrong. I just get right out of it there. And that's now 11th and out of the points. Leclerc started 17th. He's now going to go 9th. be a long afternoon, lads. It's going to be a long afternoon. I shouldn't have to lower my difficulty by 10 just to compete at certain tracks. Well, I probably... For the AI to be at the same level here as they are okay, and or were at Austria at the last seconds. track... I'd probably have to lower my difficulty here by like eight. Gasly's coming now. 0.2 seconds behind and closing at the end of the hangar straight, but we'll keep him behind for now. With the way that the tyres are progressing at the minute, I'm probably going to end up having to uh, two stop. I don't think I'm going to get the tyre life out of them that I need to be able to one stop. I will try, but there will come a time where we'll end up being too slow on worn tyres that it would actually overall, race time wise, be slower for us to stay out. Guess they went for a gap that wasn't there then. I don't know if we actually made contact or not. Let's have a look. No, he just got caught on the curb. He just got caught on the curb. Uh, Turkish Grand Prix next weekend. Thank you for the follow, Visors. Leclerc is in the pits now on lap 18. Is that a two-stop for Charles Leclerc? It looks like it. I don't think he's a... Wait, well, he surely hasn't picked up any damage because he was running a good couple of seconds in front of Esteban Ocon. And of good few seconds behind Callum Eilat. So I think Charles Leclerc either is going on a really long medium stint, a really long medium stint, or is two stopping. Oh, I'm well out, of, well out of shape, well out of shape through Magus and Beckett's. Gasly's right next to me. Carlos Sainz is in the pits now as well. The Ferrari might both be two stopping. 
Gasly passed. I'll try and maybe get him back into the chicane. I'm not going to be close enough. So I think, I think both Ferraris are two stopping. Fastest lap of the race. Captain Sainz is still growing though. Captain Leclerc is still tumbling though. Just trying to stick with Gasly for the remainder of my laps on this set of tyres. We'll be pitting in about four laps time. Lap 26 I think they wanted me to come in. Probably better off just sitting in Gasly's DRS, to be honest, rather than battling with him or trying to overtake him. So much for sticking behind Gasly. Great manoeuvre. You made it look easy. It's not easy, though, Jeff. <laughs> tough right now. Not the fastest lap of the race. Personal best, obviously. Not a chance am I going to be challenging for the fastest lap of the race here with the AI as strong as they are. We're having a bit of a ding-dong with Pierre Gasly at the moment, which is enjoyable. Charles Leclerc will join the party soon enough. We expect the grip levels to start falling away soon. Yeah, that's why I'm going to pit in three laps time, Jeff. on Schwartzman. They have some kind of mechanical problem. Okay, so Schwartzman's going to be going... Sergio Perez and Lewis Hamilton are just trading fastest laps. They may have just been a few milliseconds... Oh, I've raced direct or not. They may have just been a few milliseconds apart there. Lewis is, was 26.073 and Sergio Perez was 26.070. Three milliseconds between the two of them. Someone's coming out the pits. The back marker though, because we're still 10th. It was one of the hasses. The Mazza spin then. Leclerc has caught right up to myself and Gasly now. And we've got a three way fight for 10th place in this Grand Prix. Although, let's be honest, up against that Ferrari on fresh tyres, probably not going to be much of a fight. Leclerc may even have a go at both of us down this straight okay, now. Gap ahead is 11.2 seconds. I want to defend to Gasly and hope I can just hold the inside on Leclerc, which we have done. And Leclerc actually had to back out of it and lost the place to Gasly again. Verstappen's in the pits. We'll be pitting in two laps time on 26. Verstappen started the race on mediums and it's now switched to soft. So we'll be fucking rapid for the rest of the race. Come out of the pits 10 seconds in front of us. Fifth for George, a fifth so far. And now George is in the pits. George is in the pits. George in the pits. That's off his medium tyres. Gasly's trying to get have a look into Magus and Beckett's, which is brave. It put me offline though, which is going to make me vulnerable down the hangar straight again. Charles Leclerc is also, well, basically, we all put each other offline there, and we've gotten away with it. Leclerc will have another go at trying to take Gasly, and this time without me in his braking zone, he should be able to hang it on around the outside. Carlos Sainz sets the fastest lap of the race. Leclerc is past. George is still registered as in the pits, and he's just coming out of the pits now. It's such a long pit stop. And Gasly's now pit as well. Gasly's pit too. So he'll pit to softs, be ludicrously fast, and we won't be able to challenge with him on our fresh mediums. So we just have to hope that his tyres go off and we can crawl him, claw him back in. We are pitting this lap. Gasly's going to undercut us by one lap, and we'll see by how much he actually gains on us. Look at the speed difference between me and the Ferrari. It's just not even close, is it? A little bit of DRS down the hangar straight, if we can get it, would be very much appreciated to help us defend from Gasly. 
I don't think this DRS alone is going to be enough to help us stay ahead of Gasly come the end of the pit stop, but it will definitely help manage the gap a bit better. So into the pits we come for our one and only stop. He says this is probably going to be speeding into the pit lane. Indeed he is. Yeah, terribly slow pit lane limit here, isn't it? I forgot about that. 37 miles an hour. Oh, and it's such a long pit lane as well. Tsunoda, Joe, and then Gasly coming down the hangar straight right now behind the Haas. Oh, God, it's forever. It takes so long. Quick stop, please, boys. 2.9 is not race. amazing. Guan Yu Zhou is pit as well, and I'm not going to get out ahead ahead of either of the uh, either of the Alpha is. Oh, there's Gasly. So the DRS did definitely help, but Gasly has jumped us. But we will have DRS here. Now he's on fresh soft, so he's going to be fucking rapid. So we're down to 13. He's going to be so quick. There's a yellow flag somewhere, back by, back by the beginning of the lap. Mercedes is in the pits. So I'm not sure what the yellow flag is for. Calamilot's out of the session. That will earn us a position. But why is Calamilot out of the session? Oh, engine blowout for Calamilot. Engine blowout. Close to collecting the Mercedes and the. Um, Red Bull there. Well, that will gain us a position. Meaning we should hopefully then score at least a singular point in this Grand Prix. That Haas is getting in the way right now as everybody's trying to lap him. Nick not doing himself any favours reputation-wise. We do have a new set of softs to go to should we get a safety car of any description. I might go for Gasly here shouldn't have <laughs> tried it he closed the gap he closed the door caution caution oh Sunoda in the pit so that would be us back up to p11 so we're we're Green flag. we're p12 right now and that's about a lot i think at the minute that's about a lot everybody else in front of us is mainly running on mediums verstappen and george are on softs and annoyingly, Gasly directly in front of us is on softs. With Valtteri Bottas being 27 seconds behind. Unless there's a safety car, I don't really see much changing in the next 28... Or oh, sorry, next 24 laps. We might just be driving on our own for 24 laps. I'll check for damage off the back of Gasly, but I don't think we got any. No, I didn't get any. It was close. It was close, but I didn't get any. And we can hope that Gasly's tyres wear out quite quick now that the track is warming up and that those soft tyres go off on him quite fast. And we might be able to play the long game and get past him that way. But I wouldn't hold your breath. So Alpha Terry is pretty damn, pretty damn sharpish. We're just about holding station with Gasly at the minute. Which, mm, provided I can keep it up, which is unlikely. Provided I can keep it up, we will eventually reel him in when his tyres go go off. Because his tyres will wear faster than ours. And if we're lapping at about the same pace, he will eventually slow down and come backwards into us. But that would still only be P11 and no points. It does appear that the medium is a very good race tyre at the minute. Whilst on his single lap, it wasn't necessarily great. In the Grand Prix, it's really holding up with the soft tyre. Which is probably why we saw Charles Leclerc be so quick on it, and why those two at the beginning of the Grand Prix, Russell and someone else, just disappeared in front of me, even though they were on the medium tyre. They just went. We are nearly in DRS range of Pierre Gasly now. We are closing him in. I'll just see if he's got any damage. No, 
damage. Not got any visual, not got any visual damage. That Alpha Tower. We're just able to match his pace at the moment. Which is good news for us. I'm not. I haven't been paying attention to that gap to Ocon, so I don't know if that's coming down at all. Seventeen point three. We'll remember that. 25.9 lap there as well. And three personal best laps in a row, all by a handful of tenths at a time. Virtual, virtual safety, safety car, virtual safety car, what's that for? Delta. There's been an incident resulting in a high Full level safety car now, full safety car. There have been further incidents out on the track, so the officials are moving to a full safety car. Right, I am gonna pit for a fresh set of softs. We've got a, a free pit stop behind us. A free pit stop behind us. I am going to stop for a fresh set of softs and hopefully we can take advantage of that between now and the end of the Grand Prix. I don't think we'll lose a position because of the safety car, but there may well have been a crash somewhere on track. I'm not sure where. Let's have a look through. VSC somewhere. It's here at Maggots and Beckett's. Williams has either binned it. They're just trying to lap him probably. They're just trying to lap the Williams, but he's now... Retired and out by the looks of things. Don't tell me it's George. George! He's not got a front wing, it's George! Fuck! Fuck it! A DNF in the last Grand Prix for George Russell. And he's gonna, it sounds like, listen to the engine, he's gonna DNF here as well. Back-to-back -back DNS for George Russell as he collides with the Williams. Ah. Right, we're going to pit them for fresh softs under this safety car and maybe make some movement forward. This is what we had to hope would happen. We just hoped it wasn't going to be our teammate that caused it. This race might get a little bit more tasty then. Oh, and... The Alpha Tauri there doesn't have a wing either. That would be Sunoda because we're with Gasly. They're both flying without wings and the Williams is out. Ah! Right, toilet break and then... Well, hopefully a pretty entertaining final part to the Grand Prix as Bristol City take a 3-2 lead against Peterborough. Fuck the posh. Pitting this lap then. Come into the pit Pitting this lap this for a set of fresh, brand new softs. Let's try and take adv advantage of this safety car, if we can. We think we've got a free pit stop behind. If not, it's going to be very bloody close. Oh, we definitely have, because they're caught up behind the safety car already. Absolutely got a free pit stop. Thank you for the follow, Davey. Complete. Go now. So, 20... 20 laps. 20 laps to do on this fresh set of softs. I'm going to be the last car to catch the to catch the train. I have to hope that I can get there relatively quick though. They might get they might get released before I get there, which would be an absolute fucking travesty. Uh, because other other cars have been lapped. Cheering. Other cars have been lapped, and as such, they. If it were real life, lapped cars would be allowed to overtake and unlap themselves. But that's fr frustratingly really fucking difficult to code into the game, unfortunately. So lapped cars don't get the opportunity to unlap themselves behind a safety car. And as such, just get caught in the queue. And there we go. That is us caught up to the back. The safety car will be in this lap. Gasly's there in P10 in front of us. On the same compound of tyre as us, but ours are newer. Then Ocon on mediums, so we might be able to get Ocon. Although, the, as we were seeing with the times we were doing behind Gasly, the medium seems to be a decent race tyre. So, I'm not sure how much progress we'll make. And I'm basically, from, from uh, Charles Leclerc forward, we're not going to be fast enough anyway, even though they're on mediums, so... I still don't think we're going to get any higher than ninth, but ninth is a possibility now. It's really going to fuck us 
in the constructors though because both Mercedes, both Red Bull, both McLarens and both Ferrari are all going to score points. It's really not going to be good for us in the constructors championship at all. Two DNFs in a row for George are killing us. Right now all the back markers getting out of the way. Mazepin nearly wipes his teammate out. Loses a space to him. Then okay, gets it clear. back again. That was dangerous. No DRS, obviously, until two laps after the end of the safety car period. It's Giovinazzi getting out of the way, and he nearly hits his teammate too. And they both get out of the way for me. Thank you, Kimmy. He'll lose the position to Giovinazzi now. Oh my god! Bottas going incredibly slowly. Are you actually going to let me through, Valtteri, or not? Fucking hell. So that is Gasly in front now. That's everybody that's behind, other than Stroll, now lapped. But trying to get through all those lapped cars that Esteban Ocon is now five seconds down the bloody road. So we just flew around the outside of all of those cars and lapped them all in one go, which was quite dramatic but also not very time efficient. Now we need to get after Gasly, and then after that we need to get after Ocon. Wasn't quite as bad, still wasn't the best though. BDM! With a brand new third month, thank you mate. We're going to try and take Gasly here into Stowe. He's going to try and hang it out around the outside, he's still there. He's going to have the inside line for the chicane as well. I'm going to try and hang it out... And then hang it out, force him a little bit wide. We're through and back into the points. P10. But we're a full five seconds behind Esteban Ocon. And whether that's catchable, I doubt it. We might be battling with Pierre Gasly for the rest of this Grand Prix for a P10 finish. Pierre's going to get me down the straight. I could try and hang it out around the inside, but I'm just not going to be able to make it work. Held him behind for ages. I don't want to lose a point here the same way that we lost a win in Austria. I'm try and close Pierre back down. You're catching the car ahead, but remember we need to get to the end of the race on these tires. His tires are more worn than mine. It was just kind of DRS and the overall opiness that was keeping him with me. We should still be able to finish P10, I think. Provided I can stick with him through Maggots and Beckett's close enough, I should be able to get him at the end of the hangar straight again. I should be able to get him now, actually. On the same lap. Is he going to go defensive? He's not. Bye, Pierre. Well, not by, but thank you at least for the time being. Oh, I've gone deep there though, that's not going to go well. Leaving him room, probably shouldn't have, probably should have tried to shut the door, never mind, we've kept the place. We've been scrapping with Pierre Gasly for the majority of this Grand Prix, to be fair. It's just a shame that it's over P10. So as we start our last lap of the race, we're very thankful final lap, final that Pierre Gasly's tyres have fallen off the edge of a cliff. We took him back a couple of laps ago after he took me, after we'd held him at bay for a good ten laps or so. At least six or seven since the uh, safety car. And unfortunately for him, he's going to finish P11. And we will get a point. Ironically, only because our teammate DNF'd, so as a team we'll get one point. But we could have had plenty more if George had finished and he'd have been the sole car in the points. Never mind, eh? If it weren't for the safety car, we may have stood a chance of finishing ninth. Or if, to be fair, because the the tyre wear, or sorry, the lap times we were seemingly able to put in 
on the medium tyre was so good, I was hoping that changing to a soft would just give us an instant advantage. But actually, we probably would have been better served not taking the free pit stop. Staying... Oh, it's a bit too late for that now, it's fine. Staying on the uh, medium tyres we were on, and I might actually have finished a bit higher than where we are now. Underbody took some damage there on the final lap, but Pierre Gasly's really dropped off. But it took till the last lap for that to happen, but it's going to be a P10 at Silverstone. Which is, um, well, after very nearly getting the win in Austria, I think that speaks okay, volumes about how OP the AI are at Silverstone as a track. Because, uh, hmm... Yuki Tsunoda gets driver of the day as Pierre makes one final point by driving alongside me there at the end. Two-headed boy, thank you for the Prime Gaming sub, mate, and thank you, uh, woo, for the uh, for the follow. Lewis from Max from Sergio is the way that it ends, and Lewis Hamilton's championship lead will now extend. Let's have a quick look at how the driver's really frustrating. Max gets the extra point. George is going to tumble. George is now down to fifth in the standings, and it's a full 53 of Lewis with back-to-back DNFs. Kind of ruined, kind of ruined George's championship hopes, really. In the constructors, we now drop down to third, but we're still only 11 points off Mercedes, so that is absolutely, absolutely recoverable, provided George stops fucking DNFing. If George stops DNFing, we'll be fine this lap. Uh, mm, yeah, that's not gone well, financially. Two-headed boy, not only has just subbed for the very first time in this Prime Gaming, he's also gifted a sub for the very first time. It's gone to Jalexi. Thank you, uh, two-headed boy. I appreciate it, dude. Two heads, two subs. Right, let's try and improve George a bit with all this sim training. And improve durability uh, morale, as that's what we're basically trying to uh, improve now. Me. Just the durability is all we have left to do. It's the Hungarian Grand Prix next. Uh, with regards to our components, probably switch out the energy store. And the MGUH as well. Other than that, we should be okay. So we'll advance towards that Hungarian Grand Prix. I see failure analysis is complete. Energy store reliability test testing is complete. George's simulated training is going well. I'll give him ready for the next race weekend. plus we seven racecraft to hopefully ensure from this routine change, hopefully ensure that he is able to hold on to whatever... Reliability failed. He's able to hold on to whatever he's whatever qualifying position he's able to get. Uh, turbocharger. Let's redo that. What's that going to cost? Five hundred and eighty-four. I have twelve hundred. That's not a problem. And we're certainly not going to be able to afford anything else. A couple others are still locked as uh, the durability facility still needs to improve. But we have twelve point nine million, and nine point three two is going to be George's renewal. So we will be able to do that. We've got some extra liveries unlocked, apparently, that we won't be using. Although it does look quite cool. And sponsor decals. I don't have the right sponsor unlocked to be able to get rid of that little nudge. Right, let's see what the weather's going to be like in Hungary. We have done well at Hungary previously. It is a track that is difficult to get right, but if you get in a rhythm... You can flow quite nicely, and it's a fully dry, super hot weekend. Fully dry, super hot weekend at Hungary, so we'll see if we can replicate. What was last year? Season 1 was a 13th in Hungary. Season 2 was a 9th in Hungary. Season 3, hopefully, we can make a step up again. We should do. We should do. So frustrating that George DNF'd twice in a row when Lando's DNF'd once, Max has DNF'd once, Leclerc is yet to fail to finish a race, and Lewis has only got one DNF as well. George, we need a bit more reliability from you, please. I guess the first DNF was an engine, so that's Mercedes's fault. And the second DNF, he crashed. That's his fault. Frustrating. Although there was an Alpha Tower in that last Grand Prix that also lost their wing in that incident, but he was able to continue. George wasn't. 
just frustrating. So we'll try and rectify the Constructors' Championship in the next Grand Prix in the next stream, which will be tomorrow, and in the next video, which will be tomorrow, as you see this on YouTube as well. So do drop the video a like if you've enjoyed this episode. Of course, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on more. Make sure you subscribe to the first main channel for continued Chesnoid FC content on FIFA. Make sure you follow my Facebook page for exclusive My Player on FIFA 22. But for now, that's all for this YouTube video here on the Seconds channel. A lot of content on lots of different places. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.